Hello everyone, welcome to the online open day here at Hang University of Applied Sciences. We're so happy to have you joining us today. It's me again, my name is Yuvi, I'm from Indonesia, and I'm a second year communication student. And now we're going to talk about the, the student story, it's a, it's a live uh, session. We're going to hear the story for the student who's studying here at Han. That's why I'm not alone here today. I have two special guests with me. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Before we start uh, talking about our story, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Osato. Um, I'm a first year master's engineering student here at the Han, and I'm Nigerian. Hi, everyone. My name is Miruna. I am a second year student studying international business and I'm doing a major in finance and I'm coming from Romania. Yeah, thank you, everyone. It's really nice to have you here. So, yeah, before we start, uh, I have a whole uh, questions inside the jar. But before we start dipping, uh, before we start looking, answering all of this question, I would like to ask, uh, what was the main reason for you guys to come and study here at the Han? Maybe Osaro can start. What's the reason why you decided to study at Han? Well, I mean, I'm an engineering student, so I was really interested in the engineering program here at the Han. And yeah. I really loved how um, practical it is, how hands-on it is. I also love how they have so much affi affiliations with like engineering companies in the area, so you're able to like kind of bridge the gap between what you learn in school and what you're actually going to be doing when you start working. So it's really nice, really interesting. So it's more about like the practical, you want it to be more practical. Yeah, That's I wanted you just to be more hands-on. Yeah, because you also I study mean, engineering, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. What about you, Miruna? <laughs> Um, well, for me, it was the only university I applied for. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I really wanted to study abroad. And uh, so I chose uh, Netherlands. Yeah. And uh, I chose Han in particular because of um, the practicality it has. And also, I'm not a theoretical person, so I want to experience and gain uh, on hands-on experience on everything. Yeah, okay, nice. So before we dive into the questions on the, in the jar, I want to remind you guys that at the end of our uh, discussion, there will be a Q&A &A session. So make sure to ask questions. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave your question on the chat box, and we'll get back to it later. So yeah, let's get to let's talk let's talk about our story, guys. Should we start? Who wants to take the first question on the jar? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay. Uh, you can read it out loud for us, and we can yeah have a good conversation. We answer the question. So, what is it? The first question. What do you do in your weekend and evenings? <laughs> what do you do in the weekend? Interesting. Okay, yeah. so for me, um, some evenings I work part time. Mm -hmm. um, some evenings I just, you know, binge watch series, um, movies, and you know, stay on my bed. Yeah. <laughs> then weekends I try to explore sometimes, like different cities in the Netherlands, because the Netherlands has a very beautiful space like beautiful environment you know yeah, so yeah. many picture worthy spots so yeah i think i also yeah. i really love to do that do you travel weekend. around arnhem or also you travel around other city oh other city other city as yeah, well yeah other city. yeah amsterdam world around that area so amsterdam i've been to rotterdam i explore the city it's so beautiful yeah, yeah. um i've been to nyamecha I've been to Breda, so yeah, so I'm, st I'm still finding my way around the Netherlands, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if I may ask, what's your favorite city so far you've been traveling around the Netherlands? Um, I think I love Breda. Breda, you yeah. Like. It Is there any specific reason why? Um, it was calm, it was but calm. also had um, a very a rich sense yeah, to yeah. it, like, and then it just spoke a lot about, you know, some culture in the Netherlands. I went there with a friend of mine whose parents lived there and yeah, we explored the city together and they also told me some parts, some yeah, like yeah. bits about it and it was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that I realized one thing that I realized about the city in the Netherlands is that every city has their own like um uh beauty, has their own charm. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's yeah. good to explore every city in the Netherlands. It's also easy because we have train, every public transport is easy, right? Yeah. What about you, Mirna? What do you do usually on the weekend? So during uh, weekdays, I usually study. Study, yeah. Um, but uh, in the evenings, I really like to um, 
to walk around the city, to go to parks, mm -hmm. uh, just to enjoy uh, my time here. Yeah, you like going, do you guys party on the weekend? Is there any one of you party in the weekend? <laughs> no. You're not really a party person. <laughs> no, not yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going out and have fun with friends, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's take the next question. Maybe Maroon, okay. I can take the second question. Yeah. How do you get around in the city and mm. outside the city? By bike, by bus, by public transport? Yeah, this question is related to our topic discussion before we like to go around the city. So. Yes, I think it's the best uh, question yeah, um, yeah. after the first one. Well, um, I do have a bike. Okay. And uh, I think it's one thing that uh, students here really need. Mm -hmm. um, I use also the bus so when it's raining outside. I don't like to cycle in, yeah, <laughs> in course, rain. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, think anyone enough. likes that. Yeah. Um, and also uh, the pl public uh, transportation uh, to go from Arnhem to other cities. It's easy. It's simple. Yeah. Yes, it's really simple. And if you have the OV chip card, which is uh, a card, you can put a subscription on it and you can travel uh with less money let's say yeah, yeah, in more yeah. places then it's way easier so it's really important to have that OV chip card yeah exactly. for this is the it's for us to use all the public transport in the netherlands yes. how about yourself how do you travel around the netherlands well in arnhem i travel by bus yeah. mostly because well i don't bike you don't bike <laughs> why <laughs> <laughs> well um i'm not very comfortable biking yet like okay. i learned but i'm still trying to like get used to the system yeah, so yeah, yes yeah. Thick, i mean i know i would end up biking at some point yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. I, ha I have a bike okay. so <laughs> i'm making progress yeah um then within the netherlands i use the train and like amirina mentioned it's also very easy and seamless with the ov card because you use every kind of transport with the same card so you're not thinking oh i want to use the bus i need to use another card or something and like she also mentioned there are also very nice subscriptions that help you you know travel free during the weekend yeah, yeah. and it's really it can be really cheap for students so that's really nice yeah so as i recognize we keep mentioning about the official card so for for the people at home official card is like a it's a yellow card where you can use to go around the city, where you can use for the public transport in the Netherlands. You can put money in it. So it is really necessary. And I bet all of us have the OVG, yeah. especially as a student, <laughs> if you use the public transport, so it's really necessary. Other than that, biking is also really common here in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, yeah. biking. So uh, it's good to keep in mind that if now back home you cannot bike, you still have time to learn how learn, to bike yeah. because <laughs> first it really save the uh, it really costs uh, save the money on the public transport if you yeah. can bike especially around the city so yeah it's good to keep in mind when you get here you know how to buy get a bike so you can travel easier around the city yeah yeah let's take the next question What is the cost of living per month? For example, cost of cup of coffee, meal, student room. Oh, wow. interesting. Cost of living. <laughs> we, might, we might all have different answer from this, right? Yeah. Yes, our life <laughs> time, but yeah, you can start. Well, I would say my entire cost of living for the month runs from about 1,000 euros to about 1,200 Does that euros. include everything like housing and grocery? Yeah, yeah, includes, going out, yeah, yeah okay. includes, it includes everything. So for my housing, I spend around 500, 600 a mm, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for groceries, maybe around 200 to 300 and there's transportation then there's also sometimes when we, you're lazy you just want to eat out or you go out with friends and yeah. you guys go to eat something then a cup of coffee costs maybe around two euros mm -hmm. so yeah it generally varies so yeah, yeah. there's no like hard of pass through you can um really spend less you can spend more depending on your lifestyle yeah what about you marina well, as Osato mentioned, I think for me is kind of the same, yeah, yeah. Uh, around 1,000 euro per month, including everything. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, I think if you cook at home, yeah, yeah. Uh, you save a lot of money. Yeah, you cook. <laughs> so talking about saving money, do you have any tips and tricks for the students to save money living here? To cut off their living costs? Is there any tips and tricks from you guys? Well, yes. <laughs> there's always food at home. Yeah. So definitely, um, yeah, just um, have fun cooking. And then most times, I mean, if you live with... Um, other international students, you also get the opportunity to try different cuisines from different cultures. So that's also nice. So you are exploring, like, you are um, experimenting with your taste buds and you're yeah. also not having to spend so much money. So yeah. that's... Try to cook at home also cook. Yes. Do you so have any tips and tricks, Mira, for the well, students? Also about uh, if you are living with other students, yeah. maybe try to organize a specific uh, night or or evening. Oh, today we are cooking Romanian food together. Yeah, uh, yeah together yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's nice, it's Next nice. week we are going to cook Nigerian food yeah, and nice, so yeah. on. So cooking at home, I think it saves you a lot of money, and uh, th that's it basically. Yeah, I think. This question is really, uh, is really, it's really different from everyone. Uh, it depends on your lifestyle also. But one thing is for sure for you to help, a tip and trick for you to help to save your money. So yeah, cook at home. I think is one of the biggest uh, factors because it's much cheaper to cook at home and instead of going. Maybe you can go like eating out once a week. I think that will be yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, as I mentioned before, biking. It also helped you to save a lot of money from the public transport, right? So yeah, let's take the next question. Okay. What kind of jobs are common for students? Oh, interesting. Part-time jobs, yeah. Yes. Well, I personally don't work at mm -hmm. the moment, but yeah. I know from um, other classmates that some uh, common jobs um, for students are working in restaurants mm -hmm. or delivery or um, um, there's a lot yeah th there are there are a lot of, of jobs and yeah. uh, are friendly also also for international students so you don't need to know Dutch yeah yeah it's, there's there's some there's some position that requires Dutch, but there's also for international students. Exactly. Yeah. And what about you? Do you work at the moment outside of our part-time yes. job? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Part-time, I work as an order picker um, mm -hmm. at the supermarket um, here in the Netherlands. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, it's um, it's really um, it's not limited to just exactly. speaking Dutch. Yeah. yeah. You could be an international student and still have the opportunity to work and there are also agencies here that could help you you know get like jobs yeah, yeah, as yeah. an international student so it's uh really i have flexible. a question is it hard to find a part-time job here in the netherlands as an international student um well it depends i would say like i mentioned there are agencies that help you yeah. and these agencies don't charge so it's like free for you as a student so they help you and then they break the gap so they also help you with you know your insurance help you with your taxes yeah. and all of that so you don't feel like it's a burden because they also know that as an international yeah, student yeah. you're just coming right. here you may not really understand exactly how the Dutch system works so that's really really convenient so so yeah it's good to keep in mind that you don't need to worry a lot yeah. about not being able to speak Dutch because yeah. there's also a lot of opportunity, a part yeah. of the opportunity for international students. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to read. Let's yeah. take the next question. Oh. Do you need to know Dutch? Oh, we just mentioned <laughs> this before. Yeah. Do we need to know Dutch to study or to live in the Netherlands? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, to for your everyday life, for like, you know, to go to the grocery, to take the bus, mm -hmm. you can um, adapt, you yeah, can yeah. Um, cope without learning Dutch. But I think it's also really nice to learn the yeah, language because exactly. it's a very nice language and um, it helps you to just um, integrate more with people and, you know, make friends and all of that, make friends with the locals and also um, experience the culture more yeah, yeah. so yeah um, it's nice to know to but learn, to yeah. start to it's study not yeah it's yeah. not mandatory like here at the hand we have like 
students from different nationalities. Yeah, exactly. so, so they so have yeah, so. and the programs are taught in English, so it's yeah. really nice. Well, what do you think? Do we need to be able to speak Dutch to, or should I say, to live our life easier here in the Netherlands? Do you think that's so, or is it not necessary? Well, think? of course, if you want to experience the culture here, yeah. it's really nice for uh, them to know at least the basic phrases. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, but everyone here knows English. Exactly, yeah. And even if you are afraid, oh, I w won't get along, or um, I don't know how to say, do something, there yeah. is always help from exactly. somebody else and keep in mind that no one is here alone so exactly. we can always ask for help in english yeah uh but uh, i really think it's uh, really nice to know at least the basic yeah, phrases to learn. Yes. It's when you go nothing wrong by learning a language right yeah yeah so yeah you guys don't need to worry if you're not able to speak dutch because the majority of the, the dutch people they all can speak english i never met someone the dutch person that doesn't speak English. Mostly they speak English also at Han. It's, it's, a re it's, an, it's an international environment. It's really diverse. Everyone is speaking English and also the program is a uh, English based thought program. So you don't need to worry about that. But when once you arrive here, it's good to know and to learn because there's nothing wrong with learning new languages, right? Yeah. So yeah, let's get move on to the next question. Was it easy for you to meet new people and make friends? Where did you meet them? Okay. Well, I met all my friends here at university, mm -hmm. but also outside the university. Um, what I really like about Han is that um, we are a lot of nationalities yeah, and yeah. in class we are well in my first year here we were 13 nationalities oh in one class 13 in nationalities. one that's class a lot. exactly yeah, that's so diverse. and we were all in the same position and that's exactly. how we became friends yeah yeah um also in uh, when we had uh, group uh, projects project, yeah. and we spent a lot of time together so somehow we created a bond and that's how we became friends so it's not I it's not hard for you right no it was yeah, not uh, hard Okay, what about you, Osato? Well, um, similar to how um, for, my, for my master's course, we have um, about 20-something or 30 like, different nationalities. In one class? Yeah. That's so <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's like really nice. Yeah. And um, like she also mentioned, you have um, group projects. So and these group projects really like help or enhance you know, collaboration. So you are able to meet people and then outside of school, you know, you guys are able to meet up, hang out, cook yeah, kinds of together, different yeah. kinds of food Try relating to, things. you know, your countries and yeah, just have fun. Like, yeah, right now I would say one of the really close friends I have, I made from school. But yeah. apart from school, I work, so that's also an opportunity for me to yeah. um, make friends and both with international students and also with the locals. Yeah, uh, for me personally, I I felt when I first came, I felt overwhelmed. That's totally normal. Yeah. I felt I felt lost. I don't know what to do. I don't. I, I'm not used to make friends from a different culture, from different background. But but then I realized that everyone is the same position. Everyone yeah. feels the same way, and it's totally okay. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, to feel scared. But just get out of your comfort zone and make friends and hang out and don't don't scare to approach. Uh, person first because yeah. one thing that you need to know that they might also feel the same way as you so it's it's totally okay it's totally fine yeah, yeah so yeah let's take the next question what is it like living with other students oh. uh -huh. Yeah, this is sounds interesting. Do you have and is it good for you? Do you have any problem with your housemate or how is it? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's well, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I, I currently live in kind of a student house, mm -hmm. but 
um, for my room, I have like a kitchen, mm -hmm. and then I share the toilet and bathroom with like. So you have your own kitchen. Yeah, I have And my how many own people living together in your place? Um, four. In sorry, five students, including you. Yeah, including me. Yeah, so five, five students. Included. Yeah. Okay. So and then you know we have a rooster for cleaning. Mm -hmm. So oh, and that's that nice. yeah, yeah and that really nice. works. Everyone just does their for the cleaning. common area for the yeah, yeah for the common area. So everyone nice. just does their cleaning every week, and oh, that nice. works really well. And then sometimes you see them. You know, in the hallway, hello, hi. Yeah, you know. nice Sometimes we try to like find things to do together, but uh, we're still working on that in terms of scheduling because people are busy. But yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's good. It's what really about you, Mirna? Nice. How do you feel living with uh, other people, with housemates? So I only live with uh, another one person. So two oh. person in one in one in in one apartment. apartment. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's not a student house. It's a private apartment. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, we have uh, our rooms separately yeah, of and we only share the bathroom and the kitchen. Okay. But I really enjoy the Is time with my uh, roommate because uh, we help each other. So oh we nice. knock Good at our doors. Oh, can you help me with this oh, or that? Okay. Uh, we also share food. Oh, nice, nice. So when I cook, I knock at, at her door. Oh, hey, I cook this. Do you want some? That's so nice that also the ways of us for make friends, right? Not, all yeah. not only in at school, but also in our in our uh, accommodation, right? Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm curious, was this your first time living with a housemate or did you experience this before? Both of you, maybe you can start. Well, for me, no, because back home, um, yeah, when I was in school, I you did. Yeah, so I did. So it's not uh, something new for you. It's not surprising. No, it's you not. Don't surprise like surprise. I experienced it for the first yeah, time yeah, here in yeah. the yeah. Netherlands, but it has been really nice. Mm -hmm. What about you? This is your first time. Yes, for me it was the first time, Living and I was a me. little bit skeptical and scared yeah, 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 yeah. at first because what if I won't get along with that person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair um, but I think it was only in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I was overthinking this. Uh, and in the end, it was really, really nice. Everything went well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's good to hear. So let's take the next one. Do we still have another question? Oh yeah, we yeah, do. Yes. Yeah. We do. We do. Let's take the next one. Oops. <laughs> what one must have when living in the Netherlands? Oh. What do you think? From well, you? as I mentioned before, a bike. Bike. Oh yeah. I agree. Um. The OV chip card. Yeah. Um, it makes the traveling way easier and you don't have to worry, oh, I have to buy a ticket to go there. I have to make sure I have a ticket to go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. And uh, something else, I think, um, because the weather is uh, so unpredictable, you need an umbrella. Umbrella, yeah, that's yeah. necessary. What about you, Osato? Uh, well, I think I would kind of agree with everything she said. Yeah. Um, uh, a bike, uh, o the OV, and then uh, for me, I would prefer raincoats because I tend to lose things a lot. So if I can like have it on me, it's yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. So I I generally would a prefer a raincoat for the weather. But yeah, she's very correct. So. Yeah, as we keep mentioning before, bike. I think that's really necessary. Uh, this. Uh, the Netherlands is uh, uh, biking friendly, yeah. so it's, it's really necessary to have bike to walk around, to go around the, the city and also, yeah, the weather is really unpredictable. Like we can, we can experience the whole, the whole four season in one day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Raining, storm, sunny. Yeah. Like just, just this morning, I, it was sunny and then it was raining, raining a few hours yeah, ago, exactly, right? So yeah. it's really unpredictable, so it's really is really necessary it's, it's it's good to bring to have umbrella or raincoat with yeah. you in your bag in just yeah. in case right so yeah let's take the next question what are some fun things to do in the netherlands something no one may miss out on okay well, well <laughs> from, from you from your experience yeah, I would say um, exploring the different cities. Like right now, we have um, it's spring, so um, flowers are blooming. The tulips, yeah. Yeah, yeah really you know beautiful. how yeah. big uh, of a tulip, um, tulip, yes, farm they have here. So you know, you're able to see very beautiful flowers, and it's just such a pretty sight. So you know, things like that. We also have you know certain events coming up that. All 
they always happen throughout mm -hmm, the year mm -hmm. so there's always something to do so yeah it's it's really nice yeah what about you miruna well i couldn't agree more um i think also the museum, museum are worth yeah. visiting they have a lot of museum in the netherlands yeah exactly and i think everyone at least once uh they should go visit a museum yeah we have a lot of museum yeah. yes yeah, yeah it's also uh, adding on that like i will i couldn't agree more either because it's the netherlands is really famous with the tulips with tulips yeah. especially in, in amsterdam you can visit on the weekend with your friend yeah. and also the museum yeah, it's uh the netherlands has a lot of museum art museum history museum yeah. so it's a really fun things to do and yeah there's a lot of fun things to do in the netherlands Al also also outside arnhem or neemichen so it's, it's good to know so yeah let's take the next question and the last one from it's the, the last one oh, it's the last question guys what student associations you can join in Arnhem or in Nijmegen? Okay, first of all, before you answer that question, do you join any student association? Yes, I am part of the ISB community, which stands for International School of Business Community. Mm -hmm. um, other associations I know, um, there is also ASP, which is Arnhem Student mm -hmm. Point. Yeah. And I also know there are a lot in Nijmegen, but I, I don't know the names. Yeah, yeah. But th there's a lot of student community here. Yeah. Yes. What about you also? Do you join any student association or community? Well, yeah, I've, um, I've participated a lot with some I um, ASP programs. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and it's really, really nice. It's nice like yeah. from experience, it's really nice because you get to meet people yeah, and you get to, they also have like, they also plan retreats, plan, you know, other fun activities. So it's like, it helps you balance your study with, um, fun so that is really it's really yeah. there's a lot of student association there's a lot of community for you to join to to make friends to hang out so you don't need to worry about as we mentioned before make friends or is it hard it, it is not hard as long as you want to be open and get yeah. out of the comfort zone because they provide a lot of uh space like association community events and yeah. so on yeah is it the last question yeah but yeah i still i'm still I still want to know a lot of things uh, from you guys as a student here. Um, we keep talking about what's your most favorite thing about the Netherlands, what the uh, the things you like, but what about the least or the one that you don't like about living in the Netherlands? What is it? Well, for me, I would say maybe the unpredictability of the weather. weather yeah, because yeah. you know, sometimes you just want to you know dress and not have to wear something else on like a raincoat in my mm -hmm. in my case and then you just go out and then it's like yeah it rains so mm. you I, I, but i mean on the good side it helps you learn to be prepared so yeah mm -hmm. what about you Miruna? well i think for me it's it's exactly the same the weather yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> but overall um at one point you get used to it and exactly, yeah. you don't care anymore if it's raining or, exactly. or it's not you you just cycle yeah, in the rain and, exactly. and that's it you get used to it yes yeah, yeah. and we're talking about the uh, the dutch language before you've uh, you've guys been living here for for a couple of years i would say right if i'm not mistaken have you learned any dutch word that you know Can you, <laughs> could you share a bit any Dutch word? Your, maybe your favorite Dutch word. Okay, so I would say my favorite du Dutch word is um, Gezella. Gezella. <laughs> yeah. And what is that? <laughs> I mean, what is that? Um, it's used to like describe, you know, a wonderful feeling, you mm, know, just yeah. a, f a nice feeling. Something it's beautiful. Yeah, something yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, I just see it as an um, encompassing word yeah, yeah, nice, that just, nice. you know, describes. Yeah, Gezella. Yeah, yeah. I like that. What about you, Mirna? Do you I have any specific favorite Dutch phrase or words? I don't think I have a favorite word, but the one I use the most is Dankjewel. Well. Thank well. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Uh, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank but you. every time I go to the grocery store, I try at least to speak in Dutch. Mm -hmm. So to do the bare minimum. Yeah, for me, my favorite Dutch word most probably Lekker. Do you guys know that? Lekker? Yes. Lekker means it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Easily it's, just, it's for us to describe when we eat good food. But sometimes we can also say when the weather is good, hey, mm -hmm. the weather is lekker. Yeah. It's, just, it's something good, basically. Yeah. I love that word, lekker. Yeah. So, 
Uh, okay. Mm, do you do any sport here in in Arnhem or in yeah in in school? Do you do any sport here? No. Well, for me, no. I had the gym membership at some point, okay. so that was really nice. But for now, I, I joined the swimming club. Okay. So it's in here in Arnhem. Yeah, here oh, nice. in Arnhem. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, that's that's it for me. Yeah. What about you? Do you do any sport? Well, I go to the gym, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but then not. This is not an actual sport. Yeah, but we it. have here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mm, yeah. You can you can join the basketball team, the oh, volleyball yeah. team. With the school. Yes. Oh, that's really nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. So yeah, uh, next we're going to the Q and A session. Uh, I remind you guys once again, you can, if you want to know about something, you can type your question in the chat box, and we'll answer your question right now. So we'll see. Do we have the first question here already? Oh yes, we do. Uh, the first question is, what are the nationality of the teachers? We keep mentioning that it's really diverse for, for the student, but is it also diverse from the teachers? Yes. Yeah. yeah, can you explain a little bit more? Is there, do you, uh, maybe you from your own experience, uh, the subject, the teacher is from this country or how? Yeah. Okay, so for my program, we actually have a lot of, you know, different nationalities. We have, you know, obviously locals, Dutch, yeah. We also have a lecturer who is German. Mm -hmm. I have um, a lecturer who is from India. Um, I think I have another lecturer. I'm not sure where he's from, but yeah, really, really diverse. So not just students, also for staff. Uh, what about you, Mirina? Well, for me, it's the same. And um, in particular, when you learn a new language, so at international business, we uh, must learn uh, a second la language yeah. from yeah. Dutch, French, Spanish, and German. Yeah. And the teachers, uh, the lecturers from, uh, from those subjects are uh, Spanish, yeah, German, yeah, yeah. Uh, French, and it's way easier. And then uh, we again have uh, local Dutch uh, lectures, but also from uh, the United States, uh, from uh, India, yeah. and so on. Yeah, so it's not, it's not only the student, but also the teachers, everyone is really diverse. We come from all around the world. And yeah, do we have another question here? Uh, okay, someone asked, can you describe your uh, student room? Like, is it furnished, your, stu uh, your accommodation right now? Um, so the first place I lived in the Netherlands when I came was furnished, furnished so yeah. that was really handy. Yeah, yeah. But the recent place I live now, which you know I moved in, I think about three or four months mm -hmm. ago, and I had to furnish it myself. Mm -hmm. But then, as a student, always looking for the cheaper alternative, you know, I I went around some um, second-hand shops in the For the furniture. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice. And it was really, like, I found out that I really enjoyed it because I could see some antique, you oh. know, furnitures, you know, and the prices were really good. I'm okay. like, yeah, I think I prepared this to Ikea. Okay. So, yeah, it was <laughs> nice. It was nice. Yeah. What about you, Mina? Can you describe your, your student housing, your room now? Well, my room was furnished okay, uh, yes. when I moved, mm -hmm. and I live in the same room when I first came here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and of course, you always want to have something from your own culture with you. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I have some uh, pictures with my family mm, on the walls. Nice, nice. I also like to paint, so I put some pictures uh, that yeah. I paint there. For you to feel at home, to feel ease, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's basically my second home, far from my actual home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, do you bring something, an object or anything that you bring back home to make you feel at home? Do you bring anything from your home country? to the Netherlands in your room? A specific thing, a food, a dish, a pillow, I don't know, a blanket? <laughs> Do you bring anything? Well, uh, not really. Not really? No, not okay, really. Okay, what about you, Miriam? <laughs> I did. Oh, you did? What did yes. you bring? So, I have uh, this little uh, toy. 
that okay. my parents uh, oh. bought me when I was five. That's so cute. And I said, okay, I cannot live without without, uh, yeah. without this toy. Yeah, yeah. So I I brought it with me, and now it's uh, near my bed. So I think that's also good to keep in mind is to bring something that is really meaningful to you to the Netherlands so it will help you to feel at home at least because I know it's hard to move abroad alone but yeah maybe bringing something from back home can be helpful mm -hmm. so do we still have another question oh yes we uh, the next question is what is your favorite spot in the city here in Arnhem because you guys study in Arnhem so what's your favorite spot in Arnhem so my favorite spot would be um, the Heim campus no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so the rooftop at the Eusebius Kirk. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, so, yeah it's in the city center. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. in the city center. So they have this um, glass rooftop where you can stand and then you see like an overview of the entire city and it is so, so beautiful. Nice, so beautiful. Yeah, it's good to keep in mind if you guys want to study in Arnhem, as what Osato yeah. mentioned. There's this. Uh, rooftop in the city center is, uh, is good to visit. And yeah. what about you, Miruna? For me, I think it's the Zonsbeek uh, Park. Zonsbeek Park, oh yeah. Yes, because really I really feel they're like, um, it's very calming. Exactly. And um, I always charge my batteries there. Yeah. And picnic, do a picnic there. Yes. Yeah, okay. um, go with friends, uh, have a little picnic, yeah, uh, nice. chat, uh, just enjoy the weather and the atmosphere. Yeah, we have that a big park in near the center is the Sunspeaks Park, but also we have a park, a small park near the campus actually, it's called the Presikov Park. Yeah. It's near, it's located next to the campus in Arnhem and it's, it's good after class if the weather is nice. If the weather is nice, yeah. <laughs> we can go after class and hang out with friends. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really nice. So do we still have more questions? Let us, let me see. So yeah, I think there's no more questions. So. Uh, I would like to conclude, I would like to summarize what we've discussed today. Uh, uh, one thing that I want to say is that everyone feels the same way when they first came here. You don't, you're not alone, everyone feels overwhelmed, feel uh, scared, don't know what to do. And just to keep in mind that you're not alone, everyone feels the same thing. So it's totally okay, be open, get out of your comfort zone, make friends. Even the hunt itself, they uh, give an opportunity such as the community, the association for you to, to make friends. Also, yeah. uh, a, a reminder that as we keep mentioning before, the, the Dutch weather is really unpredictable. So don't be surprised when you first arrive here, always be ready. and. If it is healthy, you can bring something at home. You can bring your food, maybe, or stuff that is really uh, meaningful to you. So, yeah, I think that's all from me. Do you have any more, like, do you want to share any more things? Yeah, um, I would say that you should um, come here with an open mind, open mind you know. Yeah. Really be open to meeting new people, to... Um, um, networking, to so making friends, to so exploring different nationalities. Yeah. Because you come here and you don't get to experience just the Dutch um, 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 culture. You also experience like nationalities from other people you meet here. So that's also really nice. So and it's only when you have an open mind you're able to explore that. Yeah. And you, Marina, do you have anything to say for the student? Well, we couldn't agree more yeah. to all what you said. And uh, I think the most important one is to be open-minded and um, don't be scared mm. because uh, at one point you will get uh, used to everything you once yeah. feared. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much Osato and Mirna for joining us today. It was really a good conversation. It was fun. Thank and you. also thank you very much for the people at home for joining us today. And it's the last of our of today's live talk show. And I wish you a good luck in your journey of choosing the Raj University. Hopefully that's Han University. Yeah. And yeah, we're so happy to welcome you in September. So thank you everyone for watching. <laughs>